Hey, our buddy Mark Agnesi here in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back. <laughs> We're back in real time, man. It's an all-new episode of Guitar of the Day. Woo! Ugh. Lots happened uh, since we last filmed this show. Uh, first off, the... Uh, the shooting at the borderline uh, up in Thousand Oaks, oh, yeah. which is a, um, a club that I've played several times. I actually filmed a, there was some kind of line dancing country. Sh I was in the house, it's a weird thing, somewhere that exists from the borderline. But really, really sad, uh, especially when it happens here so close to home uh, in a place that you know so well. Uh, and then the same day the fire started. So we haven't even had a chance to talk about the fires yet. Um, Norm got evacuated uh, on Wednesday, I believe. Uh, he's still out of town. Uh, his house is okay. He did have some houses on his street got burned. Um, basically, he can go back, but there's no power yet or anything like that. So he's he's just staying uh, he's staying out of town for a while. Um, our friend Mark Rivette from uh, All Guitar Network next door lost his whole place in Malibu. It's yeah. totally gone. Just sold a house, uh, just moved out of one. That house remained fine. The new house that they just bought moved into. It's complete, uh, completely gone. Our friend Kenneth Bryan from the Kenneth Bryan Band lost his house as well uh, out in Malibu, um, along with a, a lot of other friends and colleagues and uh, friends of colleagues. And It's crazy, guys. It's really, really nuts. Um, but uh, thank you so much to LA Fire Department for everything that they've done. Um, getting a hold on this thing. Guys have been working nonstop, really doing uh, some incredible work to save some lives out there. So thank you guys uh, for all of your help. Um, Jen just got back from Mexico. How was Mexico? Amazing. How was the birthday? Amazing. She's still all relaxed. I think that's all we're gonna get out of her today. Uh, what else we got here? We gotta pick a winner uh, for last week. Uh, we've got Jonathan Vaudre from uh, Canton, Mass. Got it. It's his 38th birthday today, too. Happy birthday, homie. You win the free merchandise. Didn't even realize that. There we go. Uh, yeah, got all the songs right. Congratulations, homie. Thanks for watching. We'll be sending some merch out uh, to you uh, very, very shortly. That brings us to <laughs> Stelly Tuesday. It's also Taco Tuesday. Ooh. I want to ask the waitress for another basket of chips. There's a lot of guac coming at you right here. This is from 1978. This is an original Fender Telecaster. Oh yeah. Oh. Antigua finish. Guac. Guac. Add a C to Antigua and it's Antigua. That's what I had all week. You had a lot of guac, didn't I you? I did. That's like one of the cleanest Antigua guitars you've probably ever seen. I mean, a couple small marks on it here and there, but man, that oh, that wasn't even a mark. That was a little piece of dust. Hey, price just went up. <laughs> man, if I clean this stuff off a little bit. Um, so yeah, 1978. We've done Antigua stuff before. We actually did a 78 telly not that long ago. That we remember it was played all the way through the top layer of the guard, all the way down to the second layer. This one significantly cleaner condition. Really, really nice looking guitar. A little bit of edge wear and stuff, just enough to keep it honest. But yeah, this is not really a green thing. People see this as like a yellow green thing. It really is a gray sunburst. It's kind of like a like a creamy white to gray, but over time as that uh, clear coat starts to kind of yellow out like it does, you know, Lake Placid blue guitars turn greenish and stuff, that gray starts to go green and that kind of milky white color starts to go yellow. And that's when you get the throw in whatever, you know, mucus related or to the other related terms that people call this color. But this is really what it's supposed to look like. It's gray. It's not green and yellow. It's like cream to gray sunburst. But yeah, over time, it gets gross. Some people love it, some people hate it. Most people hate it, but some people love it. It's Telly Tuesday, man. We're getting back in the swing of things here. Let's go to the couch. Let's plug this thing in, see what it can do. We're back, baby. We're back. All right, we're out front. We have the 1978 Fender Telecaster original Antigua finish. Uh, we're going through the 64 hand wire deluxe reverb today from Fender. All EQs and in, just a little bit of reverb. Let's start up on that neck pickup. Let's see what this thing can do.
on middle position. Both of those pickups working together. See what we got there. Up wide freaking open all by itself. A little OCD on it just in case. Go ahead. <laughs> From 1978, original Fender Telecaster Antigua finish, original maple neck, original molded hard shell case. Very, very clean, very, very ungreened by nature. Oh, it's good to be back. There's your Tele Tuesday. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Mark Agnesi. Follow the store at Norman's Rare Guitars. And check this and the rest of these guitars out online at normansrareguitars.com. We'll see you guys back here tomorrow for another brand spanking new episode of Guitar of the Day. See you then. Peace. Bye. Chips. Chips.